Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can help my channel and you can energize and refresh me as well as you can also keep me going and energized by double integration method and by three moment equation determine the following the slopes at a and b the vertical reaction at b and the bending moment at b ei is constant so let's apply the reactions and we extend the loading and counter it call that x so we have ra RB, R sub C. So RA times 10, summation moment about C equals 0. Plus R sub B times 4. Equals 30 times 6 times 7. Plus 50 times 2. So solving for R sub B in terms of R sub A. R sub B is equal to negative 2.5 RA plus 340. We then set up our moment equation. Equation of the elastic curve. EI Y double prime is equal to RA times X plus RB which is negative 2.5 RA plus 340 times quantity X minus 6. Then plus 30 times X minus 6 times x minus 6 over 2 so that would be plus 15 times x minus 6 square then minus 30 times x times x over 2 so that would be minus 15 x square then minus 50 times this distance is x minus 8 so that's the equation of the elastic curve which represents moment at any section of the beam the grating ones, EI Y prime is equal to R A X square over 2 plus quantity negative 2.5 R A plus 340 times quantity X minus 6 square over 2 plus 5 X minus 6 cube minus 5 X cube minus 25 X minus 8 quantity square plus C sub 1. So there is C sub 1 because when X is 0, there is slope at A. But after we integrate this, there is no C sub 2 because when x is 0, y is 0 at a. So integrating again, EIY equals RA x cube over 6 plus quantity negative 2.5 RA plus 340 quantity x minus 6 cube over 6 plus 5 over 4 or 1.25 x minus 6 to the 4th minus 1.25 x to the 4th minus 25 over 3 x minus 8 cube plus c sub 1 x so for the boundary conditions when x is uh, 6 y is 0 so 0 equals r a 6 cube over 6 this is 0 minus 1.25 6 to the fourth then plus c sub 1 times 6 so those are the terms that are included in this boundary condition. Other terms are either zero or the quantity inside is negative, so not included. Simplifying 36 RA plus 6 C sub 1 equals 1620, call that equation 1. Then when X is 10 here at C, y is 0. So 0 equals R8 10 cube over 6 plus quantity negative 2.5 R8 plus 340 times 4 cube over 6 plus 1.25 4 to the 4th minus 1.25 10 to the 4th minus 25 over 3 2 cube plus C sub 1 times 10. So simplifying we have and combining for RA, we have 10 cube over 6 
minus 2.5 10 cube over 6 RA minus 2.5 4 cube over 6 RA. That would be 140 RA plus 10 C sub 1. And for the constants, we have 8620 8, equation 2. Solving these two equations simultaneously, we get RA and C sub 1. So RA is 74 kilonewtons and C sub 1 is equal to negative 174. So take note that when x is 0, EIY prime, which represents theta A when x is 0, is C sub 1. Therefore, theta A is negative 174 over EI. Then for slope at B, we set X is 6. So RB, by the way, is negative 2.5 of RA plus 340. So negative 2.5 of 74 plus 340. R sub B can now be found. It is equal to uh, 155 kilonewtons. Then for theta b, set x is 6 here. So a theta b is ra 74 times 6 squared over 2. This is 0 minus 5 times 6 cubed plus c sub 1 negative 174. So theta b is equal to 78 over ei. Then for Bending moment at B. So let's apply, let's solve for moment at B into this equation because EIY double prime is moment and we set x equals 6. So EIY double prime with this moment equals moment at B also when x is 6. So RA 74 times 6 plus a minus 15 times 6 square. So that's it only. So MB is equal to negative. 96 kilonewton meter. Then for the three moment equations, second way. So let's apply three moment equations in span ABC. Spans ABC. Take note that the moment at A and the moment at C are equal to zero. So remember the equation moment A L1. So 0 times 6, so 0 plus 2 MB quantity L1 plus L2, 6 plus 4, MC is 0, then plus 6 area 1A over L1, which is WL cube over 4, 30 times 6 cube over 4, then 6A2B over L2, which is PB2 over L4, Quantity L square minus B square. So 50 times 2 over 4 times quantity 4 square minus 2 square. Then equals 0 because if we imagine a horizontal line through B, it crosses A and C. The supports are unyielding. So therefore, the horizontal line through B, the middle point crosses A and C, thereby giving HA and HE equal to HA and H sub C equal to 0. So that's why the right side is 0. So this is 20 MB, 2 times 10. Then transposing these two terms to the right gives us a negative value. 20 MB equals negative 1920. From here, we can solve MB equals negative 96, which is equal to that also. Having found MB96, so we apply negative moment here. Considering AB, 96, negative 96 is clockwise because the positive moment should be counterclockwise. Considering BC, this negative moment would be counterclockwise also if we consider the portion BC. Remember the positive convention, it should be smiley. At the left section, it should be clockwise. At the right section, it should be counterclockwise. So that's why the moment direction for the negative moment direction at B should be as shown here. 
So we can solve RB left and RB right. If we consider AB and we sum up moment about A, we can solve RB left. So RB left times 6 equals 96 plus 30 times 6 times 3. So RB left is equal to 106 kilonewtons. Likewise, considering BC, summation moment about C equals 0. So RB right times 4 then equals 96 plus 50 times 2. So RB right times 4 equals 96 plus 50 times 2. So RB right equals 49 kilonewtons. So adding RB left and RB right, we get RB which is 106 plus 49. So R sub B is 155 which is the same as that. Then for data A and data B, we first solve for RA, summation moment about B equals zero. So this is the elastic curve. That's a tangent to A. And this is division of B relative to A. And then this is data A. So if this is true, then theta A is negative because from the horizontal positive x-axis to the tangent at A, it is clockwise and clockwise uh, rotation is negative. But let's solve for division of B relative to A first. After we solve RA, considering AB, summation moment about B equals 0. So RA times 6 plus 96 equals 30 times 6 times 3. So R sub A is equal to 74, just like this. Then we draw moment diagram by parts, considering AB. This is the figure. So 74 times 6 times 6 is 444 over EI. Then the moment due to this uniform load, 30 times 6 times 3 is 540 over EI, and it is a second degree. The centroid of the second degree curve is 6 over 4 from the vertical leg, L over 4, L over 2 plus 2, L over second degree plus 2. So that's why it is 1.5. Therefore, this distance is 3 fourths of L, 3 fourths of 6, or 6 minus 1.5. So for the centroid of the triangle, this is 2 meters from the right and 4 meters from the left. One third of 6, 2, and 2 thirds of 6, 4 from the left. Since division of B relative to A, EI division of B relative to A is moment of this area with respect to B. So we have EI division of B relative to A is equal to 0.5 or 1 half of 6 times 4, 4, 4 times 2 minus one third of 6 times 540 times 1.5. So e, EI division of B relative to A is equal to 1044. And the slope, because this is true, the slope at A is negative. It is division of B negative division of B relative to A divided by 6. So negative theta is negative 1044 over 6 EI. So theta A can now be solved. It is equal to negative 174 over EI, just like in double integration. Then finally, we also draw tangent to B. And let's evaluate division of A relative to B. So this is division of A relative to B. And this is theta B. And if this is true, this is positive. So EI division will be relative to A is 0 0.5 times 6 times 4, 4, 4 times 4. The moment arm is 4. Then minus 1 third of 6 times 540. The moment arm is 4.5. So division will be relative to A. EI division will be relative to A is equal to, that's theta B. And that is positive because division of EI division of B relative to A is also positive. So therefore, division of A relative to B is positive. 
So therefore, theta b is this division divided by 6, and it is positive. So theta b is 4, 6, 8 over 6 ei. So theta b is equal to 78 over ei, just like in double integration. So that's it for this problem. So three moment equation can also evaluate slopes. And this is the information for all because almost all of you do not know that the three moment equation can also be used in computing or finding the slopes at points in an indeterminate, statically indeterminate beams.